politics and masturbation. So, I gotta tell you, over time I've become pretty disenchanted with the political scene in America. The reason is that pretty much all the Democratic and Republican parties seem to be interested in is perpetuating and amplifying their own power base. So, I've decided to form my own political party. It's a pro-masturbation party. I'm calling it the Masturbatican Party. Its policy is that the world needs more masturbation. Its motto is simple. If we all pull together, we can make a difference. But gee, Eric, why does America need the Masturbatican Party? Well, that's simple, too, because when you think about it, a lot of our world's problems are rooted in the fact that way too many people are wound up way too tight way too much of the time. What this country needs is a lot more masturbation, each person masturbating two or three times a day minimum. Think about it. First thing that would change is that violent crime rates would plummet. After masturbating a few times in a row, who's in the mood to rape or assault or murder someone? After a good healthy dose of masturbation, well, the world seems fine just the way it is, doesn't it? And with less violent crime in our society, there'd be less need for the massive penal system we currently have. Translation, everyone's taxes would drop. Or we could actually start paying off the national debt. Or maybe a little of both. Hey, score one for the Masturbatican Party. Okay, the next big thing that would happen, large-scale acts of violence, things like warfare, genocide, and terrorism, would drop off too, for the same basic reason. Who wants to get up and build a genocidal death camp for someone when you're basking in the warmth of post-orgasmic bliss? Okay. All right, let's take a look at a practical example. Peace in the Middle East. How can we achieve peace in the Middle East? At this point, it's pretty clear that neither Democrats nor Republicans have a real answer to that. But hey, the Masturbatican Party does. Just get everyone over there masturbating half a dozen times a day and then see how eager they are to strap on their suicide bombing vests or to build new settlements on disputed land. The fact of the matter is that the Masturbatican Party's policies would help heal practically every division that currently separates the human race. Racial and ethnic hatred, religious disputes, ideological differences, you name it. Everyone would feel too good for all of that. Hmm. Masturbating for world peace. Hey, there's an idea that might actually have a chance of succeeding. And the Masturbatican Party's platform addresses systemic global problems, too. Problems like, say, uh, overpopulation. Too many emaciated babies starving to death in the world's blighted wastelands? Hey, put the Masturbatican Party in charge for a couple decades. Problem solved. Worried about pollution and global environmental degradation? Well, with the population finally under control, a lot of that would go away too. And the Masturbatican Party's position is that major world leaders, the folks who start most of the problems and violent crap in the world, they should be held to an even higher standard. They should be masturbating four or five times per day to calm their damn dicks down so the rest of us can get on with our lives in peace. So, forget all of your self-righteous utopian fantasies and activism. All you need to do to improve the world is sit in your house in your damn grimy underwear and begin masturbating. And keep masturbating repeatedly, again and again like a demented orangutan. Keep masturbating until you see God. And please, people, please consider joining the Masturbatican Party today. Yes, we do have problems, but the Masturbatican Party believes that we can beat them if we all pull together. So please, people, let's come together today, because the future is in your hands. So let's take hold of that future and bring it to its glorious climax. Become a member of the Masturbatican Party today. And I thank you.